Hi, welcome. Anton Creel here from the Institute of Trading and Portfolio Management. I'm here in London today with our newest addition to the Institute, Senior Trading Mentor, Ben Berg-Green. Ben's just flown in from Los Angeles where he's a professional trader and still trades every day. Welcome, Ben. Yeah, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, great. It's good to be How here. How was the flight? It's a bit long, but I uh, survived. Cool. So yeah, it's, uh, I haven't been in London for uh, 15 years, so it's been a while. 15 years? Since I was here wow. last time. But, uh, cool. Yeah, it's, uh, looks, Skyline looks the same. It still looks the same, yeah? <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure it's changed a lot, but uh, it looks the same to me. So Canary Wharf was obviously there in 2001, but there was yeah. not many people there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So where, where were you based when you were in London? I was at, uh, in uh, Sloan Square. Okay. I used to work for a hedge fund there. <clears throat> It's in Chelsea, um, okay. and I was there for a few years. It was a quant, long, short, US equity quant fund that I worked for in, uh, uh-huh. back in 2001. Okay. So uh, in terms of career, you were elsewhere before London. How has the career progressed from the very beginning as a professional trader? Yeah, so my career actually started uh, in aviation. Uh, I used to be a cargo pilot flying yeah. planes in the Caribbean. And my, actually, my background, my education is in aeronautical science. So yeah. I came from a different aspect than most other traders, I think. Um, back in the mid-90s, I found myself wanting to explore other avenues. And I was really getting interested in trading and finance. I don't know where it came from, honestly. It just kind of came to me. Um, and kind of to make a long story short, I ended up working for Franklin Templeton, which is a you know, $200 billion fund. Yeah. Uh, in Fort Lauderdale as a global long only asset manager. And um, when I started there, I started in operations because I didn't really know anything about business at all. Mm. And I kind of worked my way up to the trading desk um, within the year and uh, ended up trading European assets for them for a couple of years before I moved on. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely, uh, definitely a good experience. You know, it was a great place to uh, start your your trading career from, mm. I think, learned a lot there. So you had all that infrastructure around you starting at the $200 billion fund. What did you do afterwards? When did you come to, when you came to London, you were working more on the hedge fund side, right? Right, so I worked for a couple of the firms in between, but you know, after, uh, after 9-11 and the terrorist attack, the firm that I currently was working for got shut down. Right. Um, you know, nobody was hiring, everything was basically closed. Um, so I got an opportunity to work for a hedge fund. It was a startup fund here in, uh, in London. And I, by then I had uh, developed a lot of experience trading other asset classes, mm. which was uh, interesting for this fund. Plus that they were, since they were quantitative, used a lot of um, mathematic you know, formulas mm. and um, computer programming and all that kind mm. of stuff. So. And I had that background as well, um, you know, and it was a very sciencey type of fun mm. using chaos mathematics and uh, stuff that I was interested in. And I, so I came over here to set up their trading operation um, and uh, basically managed the fun for them, um, which I did starting in, in 2001. So that's when I lived in, in Chelsea, actually. So the name, of that fun, the name of the fund in London? It was called Head Capital. Head, okay. So obviously you went from Templeton, the big infrastructure to the hedge fund in London, more quant based, more short term, more mathematical. And then what did you do after that? Yeah, so, you know, after the, after the hedge fund, um, you know, eventually that ended up being shut down because the, the, the backers, you know, they, they, wasn't, they weren't really into hedge funds, they were actually into real estate. And they kind of figured, well, let's start a hedge fund because that sounds cool. <laughs> right. But they didn't have the, the knowledge that you really need to raise assets. Mm. So you can have great performance, but if you don't have the network and the infrastructure, you're yeah. never going to be able to get beyond your friends and family you know, yeah. asset size. So you can get up yeah, yeah. to you know, 40, 50 million, uh-huh. uh, you know, getting close to 100 million, but after that, you hit a wall. Yeah. And you really need to get assets from the big allocators. Mm which you're not going to get unless you're, you know, George Soros or Steve Cohen. Right. 
So, so eventually that got shut down. I went back to the States. Um, you know, I was trading futures. And eventually I got the opportunity to work for G Asset Management okay. in Connecticut and basically uh, trade their whole Asian. It was actually me and another guy trading the whole Asia, Asia region. Um, so we would trade in everything from, you know, Australia Open, um, in like in, you know, two, three in the afternoon until in India. Right. Which uh, <clears throat> went on until 6 a.m. in the morning. Jeez. And um, we traded, that was GE's full pension fund. So that was like $250 billion. Mm. And, uh, you know, I covered Asian region for them. Cool. Went from there to, uh, to the West Coast. You know, there was a couple of reasons. Uh, one was the hours. It was a lot easier to trade Asia on the West Coast. Um, and it was also a lifestyle move for me because at that point in my career, I felt like, you know, I wanted to be where I wanted to be because of my lifestyle, not because where I, where mm. I was working. Mm. And I got a great opportunity to uh, basically run this company's Asian desk, mm. um, which I did for uh, seven years, covering the whole region that? again. That was Tradewinds Global. Trade wins. Okay. Yeah. That was uh, Naveen, Naveen Investments is a big uh, mutual fund in uh, Chicago right. that has a bunch of money. And they had these smaller affiliate boutiques around. Um, Tradewinds was one of them. We had up to um, almost up to 40 billion. So it was okay. still pretty good size. It's pretty chunky. Yeah. So and the Asian part was, you know, probably about a quarter of that. Okay, cool. 